Hi and welcome back friends! I'm excited because I'm thinking about starting this new format or moving to this format a bit more. So let's talk about all of this. To fill you in on what this video is intended to do, it's to act as a life update, as a catch-up, <laughs> as a place and a time to fill y'all in on my thoughts recently and how I'm thinking, how I am planning to move forward with creating and how I'm moving through life. I'm also thinking of making this a series and just show up a bit more regularly to talk about life and in the past I feel like I didn't really have this format or space to do so uh, and I want to set it up so this is probably episode one of something <laughs> I just want to actually hop right into continue the topic of where I've been um, and catching up a bit. So let's maybe go to the end of last year. You may be aware of the fact that I'm in university now and that definitely consumed like my November, my December. I had all of my exams like during my semester. I think I'm a fan of it because that meant December 23rd, I know it was really close to Christmas, December 23rd, I was done. But I also feel like um, I was really running on, in terms of making videos, I'm just gonna do what I can. And that was documenting, that was not taking the time to sit down and reflect. And I definitely missed that. By the end of my semester, um, <laughs> looking back at the videos I've been making for the last couple of months, like I felt at the beginning of the year quite depressed about my content, like that it was more of a job. And for me, sometimes I had to see it that way to keep going. Um, because the financial aspect of all of this is still there, you know? And it's a sad reality that at times I just had to take my heart out of this and not really listen or I felt like I wasn't in a safe or secure place for me to really put my heart into my art. And it's tragic. It's obviously not the ideal situation. Um, but I see it as just one of those challenges that I navigate and I definitely have held the intention for a long time that I want to feel better about it, that I want to feel like I'm thriving, <laughs> that I want to feel free and or have a bit more space, a bit more security to put my heart into things, to love the videos I'm making, to be excited about my content and really post out of a out of love you know so let's move into another um part of my life updates and i guess that's where we are right now with the setup and me wanting to try a new format um, that kind of feels like a sit-down show for me to talk. I'm also working towards creating a podcast format. And for me, that's like one of my passion projects that I want to set it up so that it's sustainable. And I've become aware that I do need more help to make that sustainable. Uh, for example, get an editor... Uh, for that and have a concept that doesn't solely rely on me sharing my personal life um, because that can be quite tiring and 
a pressure that I have experienced so much in the past, I do want to have a bit distance to that. That doesn't mean that I won't uh, talk about personal things or share about my life. I just want there to be a certain distance so that I feel like it's a healthy, respectful um, situation for myself, with myself, you know, where I'm not like putting myself in situations where I'm not happy about talking about things. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone else who is not doing a podcast. Um, but I think this is a beginning. And if it's not going to be a podcast anytime soon, this is pretty damn close. And I love doing formats at, like this as well, uh, where it's sit down and I just have some notes or it's sit down and I have a lot of notes on an entire script and <laughs> a lot of knowledge I want to share in a specific order. Um, it's just going to be a bit more of this and that leads me to another thing. This video is sponsored by Squarespace and I've been thinking about making this a series where the focus is really little life updates, <clears throat> um, catching up a bit more regularly but also sharing little projects like the one I'm going to elaborate on in future videos. What I can tell you so far is that this project has to do with my website, which I have been hosting on Squarespace for over a year now. I also have an online shop that I launched on there where I sell digital products and I've been super happy with how simple it has been to host it on there and to sell products on there, to manage the back end of having an online store. And now that I'm planning to evolve my website and include a lot more content on there, um, I just wanted to talk about how great Squarespace is for anyone who is planning to share something online or have like an online business card basically that's how i see it i recommend squarespace as a platform because of the opportunities it offers creatives like me to make my visions come true especially when it comes to the design i'm definitely going to be redesigning my website this is how my website looks right now i think i started with a template and then i just changed some things it's relatively simple and that's what i like as well that there's so much that you can customize. Appreciate that. I'm super excited to share the journey of remaking my website with y'all. So if you're interested in trying out Squarespace, whether it is, as I said, for a creative project, whether it is for a blog, creating a community, they have all the tools you need on there to get started. So if you're interested, you can head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And once you're ready to launch, use my link, squarespace.com slash Yusuf, to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you to Squarespace. I just wanted to do a little travel recap because how fun is that? Seriously. <laughs> like, as someone who hasn't been traveling at all in the last couple of years, okay? Um, I just have felt so grateful that I got to leave my apartment, like go to Berlin. I also went on a hike in Switzerland and okay, it was not like a hike hike. It was like a winter walk, but just the fact that I get to engage in like the nature around here is a rare occasion and very appreciated by me because even though I live in Switzerland, traveling around here and like seeing the mountains, all of those things are incredibly expensive. And so even <laughs> if you might think like, oh, it's natural for me to go do, do those things and go to those places, I don't have like family connections to the mountains or anything like that yet. Um, so yeah, I went to the Alps for the first time in so long and I brought my, uh, I brought a um, disposable book camera and we took some pictures. Ugh, it just... It's just one of those things that make me so happy 
to spend time in nature that way um and for the summer y'all one of my only objectives this summer is like to spend more time like in nature and not just you know going in a field in my city like seeing different places and yes they may be like also touristic places but that's for a reason you know i'm so excited y'all for summer shout out to nay and will we are going to have a nature girly summer okay because it's in our hearts and it's calling us and i'm so ready for it so yeah i just want to share that i went on a little <laughs> snow trip and it literally filled my heart so much um and then another trip that i went on actually quite recently uh during my last week of my semester break i went to copenhagen with someone i'm dating and that was also just such a cute trip besides the fact that i was having a lot of anxiety you know the dichotomies of life um and we were also both like working a lot so it was kind of like a you know home office but we were just in copenhagen i mean that's cool too uh i did take some pictures and i still have more film t to be developed with my new uh it's not new uh it's um i got this secondhand analog camera so that i don't need to like use disposable ones constantly and yeah i took some pictures i definitely learned that i used some wrong settings but it's fine it's fine <laughs> i started school again and this is my second week back currently um feeling quite refreshed i'm so grateful i didn't have any exams i know people who have had exams up to like two weeks ago i was just able to completely <laughs> um like forget about school um and be excited about it again i also started a new minor which is literature studies literary studies in german so I don't know how you call it actually in English. It's called Germanistic, um, like German studies, <laughs> whatever the word is. Here's the word. Um, and it seems to be the right thing. Uh, I'm taking some courses that concern medievalism, I think in English and in German. And it's just such an interesting topic to me. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm not quite sure what inspires me so much about the medieval era right now um perhaps it's also my first opportunity of like intentionally engaging with a historical like period in a way where i get different perspectives on it and i'm also studying it uh in my free time and i can really get a thorough understanding of the beginnings of it and the ends of it because so far in my education it was always like just a part of many different things um i'm really enjoying this like focus <laughs> of it i guess and understanding more of history because it's extremely valuable and so interesting um i i think one of my trips this year needs to be like an educational cultural art trip to italy i'm just calling it right now like i just need it i've always loved italy uh and the vibes so let's see what manifests <laughs> let's see what manifests uh, i'm not really planning to travel much but if i'm traveling y'all know where i'm going i'm also feeling good that i'm taking this slow at university i'm like not you know booking full my um semesters to get all credits because i want this to be sustainable also with my job i i mean I could do a whole episode on this, right? Like whole video series about this. Like my resolution for the year is to relax or feel more relaxed and manage my stress responsibly and healthily. The feeling of enjoying slowness and let going with the flow and resetting with wellness practices or habits is just my main focus right now we can call it a new year's resolution but it's kind of more a life resolution that i have right now 
Uh, so, you know, with university starting again, we are managing our time. But it's, I have a good, I feel like I'm like, I feel like this is a good disposition to start the semester. And I'm excited to keep you all updated on how it's going. Y'all, thank you so much for listening. <laughs> I'm excited to do more of this. Let me know if you have name ideas. So I kind of want to call this series like life updates or talk about life or life chats, something like that. If you don't know, I like to write life with the spelling error of adding an A just to embrace, you know, imperfections. I think it's fun. Uh, so let me know your thoughts. That was a lot, right? Um, but it's kind of covers everything I've just been wanting to talk about. And I'm so excited that I have the space to do so. Again, if you feel like you want to create your website this year, however that will look, whatever project it entails, I highly recommend Squarespace. And if you use my link, that helps me out as well. So it's a win-win. I look forward to talking more about that. So anyways, thank you so much for being here. Check out my Instagram. I've been posting a, a lot more reels because I've just been filming a lot. Like, it's just fun for me to film them. I'm also planning to upload them like on youtube shorts but it's a process you know <laughs> we're gonna get there uh so check out my instagram check out my website uh and i'll see you around until then peace out.